This is the country of Bulgaria. Known for many things like its cuisine, rich heritage, and long history, Bulgaria is the gateway between Asia and the Western world. It is a cultural melting pot of Greek, Slavic, Ottoman, Persian, and Roman influences. In this first episode, we will talk about Bulgaria's involvement in the ancient Roman Empire's most fabled event, gladiator fights. Bulgaria's history is long and varied. Many empires have since come and gone from where we now consider Bulgaria, but possibly the most important to ever exist was the Roman Empire. One of the largest empires that Europe has seen today, the Roman Empire was powerful and ruthless. Spanning from Europe to Northern Africa, it covered a vast amount of land. For our story, we're going to focus more specifically on a place known by the Roman Empire as Thrace. Now known as modern day Bulgaria and the northern part of Greece, Thrace was a key hub known for the Roman Empire's best fighters and mercenaries. However, a particular characteristic of Thrace was its gladiator fights. Gladiator fights in Thrace occurred mainly in its capital city, known at the time as Philippopolis. The city of Philippopolis was the capital of the province of Thrace and was the key hub of the Roman Empire, known for politics, commerce, and most importantly, gladiator fights. The gladiators of Philippopolis fought in the main stadium, and on some occasions in the amphitheater, both of which were located in the center of the city. The stadium at Philippopolis was approximately 250 meters long and 50 meters wide and could seat up to 30,000 spectators. It was built at the beginning of the second century Anno Domino during the reign of the Emperor Hadrian and it was visited by members of high positions in the Thracian province. Today the northern part of the stadium is excavated and a recess in the ground reveals roughly half of the original stadium for display to the public. Despite much of the original stadium residing underground, researchers are still able to figure out crucial information from inscriptions found throughout the stadium. For example, because of the Greek inscriptions found on a section of seating in the stadium, researchers are able to determine that high-ranking officials visited from all over, highlighting how important of a venue this was. Gladiator battles in the Roman Empire included man versus man fights to the death. However, to change things up, gladiator fights also included man versus animal battles. In these battles, special gladiators called bestiarius would fight and kill wild animals like bears, rhinos, tigers, elephants, and even giraffes. Fights between gladiators versus animals occurred in Thrace, and from evidence found in Philippopolis, particularly in the amphitheater, this has been proven by the finding of remains of safety facilities in front of the first row, used to keep the audience safe from gladiatorial fights with animals that happened within the amphitheater stage. It is speculated by historians today that these additions were set because of the visit of Emperor Karkala in 214 Anno Domino. These fights between gladiators and animals seem to have been particularly popular in Thrace. This is hinted by the findings of paw prints from a large cat in another Thracian stadium during an archaeological dig in the remains of the ancient town of Serdica, exactly 145 kilometers to the west of Philippopolis. From all the evidence found so far, it is safe to say gladiator fights were a popular event in Thrace. In fact, it is believed that gladiator fights may have even originated from the Thracian province. This theory is confirmed from the special kind of gladiator called Thraex, and from the story of Spartacus. Spartacus, known as one of the most famous gladiators of the Roman Empire, is famous for leading a major slave uprising against the Roman Republic during the Third Servile War. Spartacus was a Thracian, born in 111 BC in the village of Scrave, now near the Strymon River in southwestern Bulgaria. At the time, this region was in the heart of Thrace and Spartacus is still celebrated in Scrave and other parts of Bulgaria to this day, 
as THE Thracian gladiator. The gladiators of Thrace lived to provide the people of the Roman province with entertainment at the cost of their lives. Battling beasts and fellow gladiators, they were brave men who paid with the ultimate sacrifice.